Hi, here is Klaas Nienhuis. In this video I want to show you a new way of working with the Sketchfab exporter. It has been updated to version 9 and in this version you can do texture baking and keep the materials separate. Previously materials would be all uh, baked into one big material and uploaded to Sketchfab and right now you can still bake into one texture but keep your existing materials separate. And it's best if I just illustrate this. I've got a, a, a scene here and um, these boxes, they have uh, a different materials. You can see by the colors uh, that they have different materials and here they are. I just have a few and I gave them different colors and different names. And um, I'm going to bake this scene and upload it to Sketchfab and then I'm going to modify the materials independently. And uh, that's the cool part. So here is my Sketchfab exporter. It has been updated to version 9 and I'm going to um, bake uh, manually because I've got a nice lighting setup and I'm going to uncheck the option publish with single material. This is the default. This is how it has always been, and this is the new option you can uh, use. Okay, uh, well, I'm going to bake this, and uh, then I'm going to see you on the other side of the rendering. Right, so the model has finished baking, and it already has been uploaded. It's pretty small, so I'm going to open it in my browser and here it is um, and I'm just going to edit the 3D settings so we can see uh, what has happened and what is different than before. Um, first of all because we've baked textures we don't actually need um, shadows from the lighting. I'm going to pick a different scene here. Uh, this looks appropriate. And I'm going to match the orientation of the real-time shadows with the baked shadows. And I'm doing that by pressing the Alt key and then uh, rotating it. And then disabling those shadows because we already have the baked shadows. I can increase the brightness, but we'll probably revisit the lighting later on. But the materials are more interesting. Uh, here we are, we have got multiple materials and you'll notice that for every material we had in 3ds Max, um, we now have a material in Sketchfab. And this is pretty neat, they all use the same base color texture. There is only one texture in here, uh, but they are different materials. So uh, for instance I can make this material very glossy. And I can make this material um, subsurface scattering, or I can give it subsurface scattering, whatever you might want to call it. shine when uh, there is a real-time reflection switched on. Look at that. Doesn't it look like, well, Manhattan or whatever. So here we are, uh, a new and updated Sketchfab exporter. Uncheck this option and get access to separate materials in your 3D model. Okay, bye bye.